This week on Maker Update, building a prop that can withstand real lightning, a glowing Pomodoro timer, a plywood air hose reel, tracking running goals with DIY electronics, a selfie stick that makes you frown, DIY x-rays, satisfying tool restorations, and making robots from everyday objects. Hi, welcome to Maker Update. I'm Becky, back again to guest host. I hope you've been getting up to some fun projects or at least learn about something in this video that gets you excited to make something. Let's start off with the project of the week. Ian Sharness electroplated a 3D printed Thor's hammer so he could perform with it and his Tesla coil band, arcing lightning bolts to it. Don't be misled by the shiny marble vibe, the science in here is pure gold or pure nickel, as turned out to be the best electroplating material for his purposes. The experiments he did are hilarious, and the kitchen chemistry method he used is fully documented on Instructables in case you want to give electroplating at home a go. Ian's video also delivers snappy tutelage on the National Fire Protection Association's hazardous chemical identification system and the science of electroplating, while maintaining a high rate of JPM, or jokes per minute. As with most of his builds, Ian is raffling off the finished plated hammer to benefit a relevant charity. This time it's Reinvented Magazine, which helps inspire more young women to stay involved in science and engineering. More projects! The latest issue of Hackspace Magazine is out, and in it I learned about this light-up Pomodoro timer for studying by Alexandra Charland. With back to school in full effect, everybody wants to start their study habits off right, and the Pomodoro method of using 25 minutes of focused work punctuated by five minute breaks tries to help do just that. The timer changes color to remind you to take a break and shows you how much time is left in the current segment. This is a classic design school project that is really worth your time. Build one for your desk and see how it changes your productivity. On Instructables, Seb Tech DIY has a guide for building his swivel air hose reel from plywood. What a massive upgrade this must be for a shop with pneumatic tools. The specialized bit is a swivel air hose connector, and the rest is fabricated from plywood with a few common power tools. He's got a detailed video and a step-by-step -step tutorial for building your own. Also on Instructables, Smooth Jamie built a running tracker inspired by Simone Yetch's everyday calendar. It's a motivational device that tracks a week's worth of running data and lights up and plays celebratory sound when the target is reached. It's built with seven tiny OLED displays, an Arduino Mega, and the enclosure is 3D printed. Natasha from TechnoChic designed a cardboard boombox that plays MP3s using microbit. The switches are made with strategically placed bits of conductive maker tape under the cardboard buttons. This thing looks great without any electronics in it too, so I'm thinking of grabbing Natasha's boombox template, if nothing else. Over on YouTube, the ever-hilarious Marina Fujiwara created an anti-smile selfie stick that works by heckling you with a voice recording before taking the picture. She made it using a modified Bluetooth phone camera remote, an Arduino, and MP3 player board. I think this idea is so funny, since you're building a device to troll yourself, but also it's tapped into something deeper about capturing an authentic reaction. Also on YouTube, William Osmond made his own x-ray machine using parts he bought on eBay. Of course he did. If you never had that kind of friend who would invite you over to make napalm in the backyard, you should be thankful that William makes that experience possible from the safety of your viewing device. He glosses over the technical details, but shows off a repurposed dental x-ray tube and a high voltage power supply. Welcome to the world of high voltage, where everything's a wire and you're probably going to die. And now for some tools and tips. On his YouTube channel, Jeremy Fielding has 18 mechanical design tips for you, chock full of insight to improve your CAD game, and so much more. From practical tips like consulting with experts at a meaningful time in the design process, to conceptual frameworks for innovating, Jeremy's got something to teach you. A new book just came out called Homemade Robots by Randy Serafan. It's got 10 fun to build bot guides using everyday household materials and modified servo motors. No microcontrollers involved. Full disclosure, I can vouch for the fun since I test built some of the robots in the book. My favorite is the wobbler. I just think it's so cute. If you've ever been as curious as I was about how a Bridgeport mill is put together, check out Blackbeard Project's restoration video. Not only is it super informative to watch the thing come apart and back together again, but I'm really soothed by this particular style of restoration videos. 
My favorite in the genre is My Mechanics, a Swiss YouTube channel full of these quiet, detailed records of an old tool coming back to life. The latest is a seized adjustable wrench, and it's so satisfying to see the fixes that remove the rust, straighten out the bent parts, and ultimately make the tool usable once again. This week's DigiKey Spotlight is the latest in Sean Himmel's series about making a Raspberry Pi Compute Module carrier board, in which he assembles the first test board by silkscreening on some solder paste and toasting that baby in the reflow oven. He then details the software setup to get it up and running, ultimately showing off that hello world of electronics, the successfully blinking LED. And that's it for this week's show. Be sure to like and subscribe, and please consider sharing this video with a friend. Sign up for the weekly Maker Update newsletter so you never miss a thing, and thanks for watching.